Pots, the Charge and Charge, Judge PH Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Red Plus Plus Wonderlock. In the last episode, we took down Sabrina and we got our Sith Gym badge, as you guys will see. So there we go, we got our Sith Gym badge from Sabrina. It was kind of an interesting battle. It wasn't as scary as I thought, basically because I set Amnesia's up and she wasn't as leveled as I was. Sorry about that. Basically, I didn't realize that I was supposed to go for the Sith Gym Badge before I went for the 5th. I just went for the 5th, not noticing that Sith I could do as well. But in today's episode, we are going to start heading towards Cinnabar Island. And the way I've decided to head towards Cinnabar Island is basically, we're going to Seafoam. So, let's go to Seafoam Islands and see if we can get to uh, Cinnabar Island through that way. That's what we're going to be doing today. I don't know what the levels of the trainers are going to be around here. I don't know what Blaine's levels are going to be. So I don't know whether we're going to be able to get it all done. Uh, get to, you know. If we're going to be able to get to where, where we need to go today. If we are, that's awesome. If not, we might need a few episodes and we also might need to grind. But we will honestly see. So, question of the day for today's episode is, who won E3? Let me know in the comment section down below, in your personal opinions, what you think of E3, your thoughts and opinions, what games you're looking forward to, and of course, who won? Because I think it's a very interesting uh, E3 this year. I watched the Sony conference, I watched the Microsoft the Microsoft conference as well, and I kind of paid attention during the Nintendo Treehouse, kind of. I wasn't fully interested in the Nintendo Treehouse, at least the first day anyway. After the new Pokemon stuff went up, I just decided not to bother with the Zelda stuff, because the fact is, I'm not really a huge Zelda fan. This Zelda game does look awesome. I will admit that I have looked at trailers and stuff like that. This Zelda game looks awesome. Breath of the Wild looks like an amazing game. I actually do want to buy an NX and play it because the fact is I'm pretty sure it's going to look at least five or six times better on the NX than a Wii U. Despite the fact that I've just recently bought a Wii U, I'm going to be buying an NX just for Breath of the Wild. At this moment in time, it just might not be day one. I would like there to be other reasons why I buy an NX before I think about buying an NX. So, for example, please bring out, for example, new Mario Kart. Day one release would be a really nice idea for a new Mario Kart to come out. Uh, I'd like to see a... What else would I like to see? A 3D Mario game based somewhat like Galaxy or Sunshine or possibly even Mario 64. You know, new storyline, but something like those I would like to see. And the Wii didn't have those. The Wii had the two-dimensional platform games, and then it had New Super Mario Bros. 3D, which is still a platform game. But, like, what I actually wanted was, you know, an actual proper game. I don't know if it's a new route, by the way. No, I'm going to catch this and see if it's a new route. If it is, we'll... Okay, I wonder trade it. If it isn't, I will release it. Because I don't know where the route changes. There are two routes around here, so I'll have to see where the route changes. This is if I'm allowed this or not. If not, I'll release it as soon as I get uh, as soon as I'm done here. No, you don't get a nickname. Right. Is this where the route changes? Town map. Yep. Okay, that counts. Because Route 19, I already have an encounter for, and I, I'm, well, I don't have an encounter for because I missed it. It was a star you, but I killed it accidentally last, you know, a couple of episodes back. But Route 20 is a new route, so I'm allowed this. Where's Route 20? There's Route 19, there's Sea from Islands. I'm on Route 20. Oh. Wait, hang on. I'm on Route 20. Where's the Seafoam Islands? Because I should be going through the Seafoam Islands right now if I'm on Route 20. Unless the Seafoam Islands are further along. And I'm in the wrong I'm in the wrong place right now. 
you know, I'll, I'll eventually see the Seafoam Islands. If that's the case, then I should be okay. But yeah, Breath of the Wild looks like an amazing game. At this moment in time, I really want to see what other games they bring out for the NX, roughly round about day one, before I consider buying an NX. But if you want me to make a decision based on the fact that Breath of the Wild exists, whether I'm buying an NX or not, I'd probably say I'm about 80% wanting to buy an NX based on Breath of the Wild alone. But if you could add those extra incentives of a 3D Mario game, maybe new Smash, maybe new Mario Kart, maybe Splatoon 2, maybe, I don't know. Just bring out some major titles day one, and you might be I might be interested in purchasing this day one. This is one of the problems I have with the Wii. It wasn't they didn't bring out synon they weren't bringing out synonymous titles or new IPs immediately, and of course they didn't have third party recognition too, because people third third parties didn't want to really work with Nintendo. And the things that were huge didn't want to work with Nintendo. They wanted to work with things like Sony and Microsoft. And maybe the NX will change that up. Maybe the NX will allow, uh, will want third parties to work with uh, the NX, uh, Nintendo a hell of a lot more. And the NX looks a hell of a lot more powerful. So I would definitely say it could definitely work with more third party people. And they're sort of saying about the NX now to get people on board get developers on board to start developing games for that NX. It's the same thing Microsoft are doing with Project Scorpio. They're basically announcing a brand new system now to get people to say, hey, we have this amazing brand new system coming out in the next few months. Uh, we want developers to start making uh, content for this brand new system so that you guys, the uh, customers, will be happy with content come day one when this actually is a thing. And the fact that the Wii U is not the uh, is not over as soon as we get this new content is also important because the Wii U is going to stick around for a few months. And this is another new encounter here. So the Wii U will stick around for a few months. It, uh, Breath of the Wild is coming out on Wii U and NX and possibly there may be other games coming out on Wii U and NX as well. So that's pretty cool. Does that mean these games are going to be slightly less quality? Possibilities. I mean, for example, uh, Twilight Princess. It was released on both Wii and GameCube when it did originally come out. So there is that. And uh, not a lot of pe people bought the uh, Wii copy because they still had a GameCube. So there is that. And basically, maybe that may be the situation i don't know i honestly don't know but you guys can let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts and feelings on breath of the wild are i'm looking forward to it and see what happens i'm interested to see when nintendo is going with this one and that's all i can say about the matter because that is i like nintendo i'm a very proud nintendo supporter and i have been for many many years and i will you know support nintendo till my dying day until their dying day too and I hope that their dying day is not anytime soon. I just hope that they are able to stick around and they're able to do what they're supposed to do and release quality content, which is what I would love them to do. Can I please not have to activate strength every time I go down a flight of stairs? It's kind of annoying. I want to do, I want to get these strength rocks in the right places because. I don't know if we're going after Articuno. I honestly don't know. I just wanted to do this so we could actually get to the other side of... Uh... Wait. No surfing pant on hands here. Oh. I guess we're not done yet. That's probably why we can't surf on pants yet. Okay, fine. I will continue to... Uh... I will continue to keep on going. Repels, repels. Thank you. I want to use another repel because I've got my encounter in here. This is a great place for grinding on uh, Pokemon with water types. So this probably will be where I'm grinding things like uh, uh, seeds. And of course, uh, shocks will be grinded here too. 
They will be grinded here for the Elite Four. If we get up to that point, I will be grinding them here. Wait, hang on. I should move this over, and then I should, and then I should put that there, because otherwise it won't work. There you go. And then move that over there, and then push this one down here. There we go. And now I need to go and get the other one. So I need to go up here. And then up here, maybe? I'm trying to figure out where I left that strength rock. Ah, it's right here. Okay, cool. There we go. Now I will push this one. And I will go down. I will follow it down. And I will push it again and follow it down. Just keep on following it down until we hit the water. Then we will be done here. There we go. I followed it down. And now we can surf on pants. Okay, so now we should be able to go over to the other side and deal with Articuno. Okay, cool. We can actually deal with Articuno. Articuno is a set encounter. I'm actually kind of scared about this. I have great balls. I have great balls. Can I do anything about the fact... I have a Master Ball too. But I prefer not to use it. I don't know what level Articuno is going to be either. If Articuno is OP, I need to worry about this. But also, if Articuno is not OP, I don't need to worry about this. But we'll see. Right, I'm going to save the game here. And let's do this. Actually, wait, hang on. Who's in the front of my party right now? Charlie is. Uh, can I put seeds in the front of the party? Seeds, that's toxic. I might be able to do something with that. Okay, here we go. Articuno is level 50. I'm level 60 starting off. So Articuno's level has not changed. I may have just put Articuno on a timer, which is kind of annoying, but it is important. Now I want you to get the hell out of here, Seeds. I want you to get the hell out of here because I don't want you dealing with Articuno. You cannot deal with Articuno. You're going to get your ass whooped. I do not want you dying today, Seeds. Your job was to set up the Toxic and you've done that really well. Now I need someone beefy, like, for example, Shox. Shox is beefy. Shox is the steel type and physically defensive. And ice type moves don't do a lot of damage to him. And, of course, flying types didn't do a lot of damage to him anyway, because he's electric type. So now it's time to throw Pokeballs. Let's do this. What the hell? First ball! First ball! Articuno, the freeze Pokemon. A legendary Pokemon, a legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear to doomed people who are lost in the icy mountains. Uh, no, you don't get a nickname. First ball! First ball! What the hell? What the hell? I caught it on the first ball. That's amazing. I wasn't expecting that at all. That was sort of anticlimactic, really. Oh, was I not in the right position to surf on pants? And that's why he wouldn't let me surf on pants? Because I want to surf on pants. I also want to go up here now. Okay, can I not go? How do I get to the other stairs then? Oh, I know. 
I need to go up these stairs and then round and then round. Okay, I understand now. Using the repel. And there we go. Maybe the sprite maybe the tiles are in the wrong the tile sets in the wrong place here because it's a bit pendicity about where I can surf. Or ha exactly where he wants me to surf. So yeah, I'm not sure about that. But other than that, it's fine. I'm totally okay with it. It's a bit pernickety. It's fine, though. Totally fine with it. I'm going to be healing up uh, seeds a bit because you did your job amazingly well. Shox did his job, too. But then again, Shock's job was basically just to wall. So Shox didn't really have a job. And I was expecting to spend a few episodes in it. I was expecting to spend an episode in here at least. But that took all five minutes. So I'm very proud of that, actually. I probably will be going for the other legendaries as well. So look forward to those episodes. Look forward to the Victory Road episode where we're going after Moltres. And possibly a bonus segment of one episode if I'm running a bit short on content. Where we're going after Zol... Uh, Zapdos in the power plant. Now that I know they're level 50 and haven't been changed. I was a little worried that they might have been changed to like level 70. And I might have to worry about them. Or level even 80 or 90. But I don't know. Level 50 is fine. It's just really weird that I got it on the first attempt. I never have this legendary look. I mean I'm not going to chant. I'm not going to say. Oh, oh dear. Oh my god, thank you for staying alive. I'm going to switch you out now. I don't need to worry. I don't need to worry. All I do need to do is give a hyper potion to Seeds because I'm a little worried about him. Psychic is kind of a scary move still and 85 health is quite a lot. So, I don't want that. Ooh. There it is, C for violence. Cool. Then this is a brand new encounter right here. This is C for violence. And I want to go get it. So, let's get that brand new encounter, please. Come on. There's a the rappel running out. Do I not run into encounters here? Have you made it so I don't run into encounters here? Because I'll... F I'll fish if you need me to. I'll fish. Can't use headbutt here. There we go! Okay, encounter is a star, you. I'm gonna toxic. I'm still going to Toxic. Because I knew it missed. There you go. Bubble Beam is fine with me. You're level 25. That was a crit and did like 4 damage. That's how much it's fine with me. You barely do anything to me. Go Great Ball. There we go. An, elegem an elegenic Pokemon that can effortlessly regenerate any apprentice uh, appendage that it lost during battle. Appendage. So any injury, that is. Cool. We are in... We are in... Where is this? We're in, we're in Cinnabar Island. And it's awesome. That is awesome we have three encounters to get here plus i can go and revive my fossil and that's another encounter and technically yes i can bar uh, technically yes i could go out there uh, i could go back to mount moon mount moon square and go and buy another fossil 
but that seems a bit greedy, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to revive my fossil, and uh, that is going to be my set encounter for Mount Moon. So I'm not going to buy another. Fo I'm not going to buy a fossil because it seems wrong of me to do that. So I'm not going to do it. I just don't like to do that kind of thing. It's just wrong to go up to a place where you can just buy multiple, like. For example, if I bought 50 fossils, because I probably have the money to buy like 50 fossils, uh, should I do it? No. No, I shouldn't. Because that's just wrong. It's greedy. Oh, I stole the bike. Damn it. I'll have to go and get that back out. I want to store that. I want to store the card key, because I'm not going to need that anymore. So that card key can go too. I'm not... Oh, I'm out of room in the PC. <laughs> oh my god, I hate it when this happens. Like, you give me so many items that I need to use, and then you give me no room, in, you don't give me enough room in the PC to store them all. I guess I'll take this rare candy. And there's a nugget there, too. I'll take that and sell it. And there's a. Where's my bike? Where's my bike? I guess there's a great ball here that's not doing anything. It doesn't need to be in the box. It can just be in my bag with the rest of my great balls. Uh, what else can be out the box? Um, trying to figure out what else could be part of the... Or what else could be out? I guess these poker balls could be out too. I might need them. And... My bike would be really nice right now as well. There's a big car going past and I don't like that. But my bike would be really nice right now. Where's my bike? There's my bike. And that's all the things I can get out of here. So let's go and revive this fossil. Hello, mate. Hiya! I'm an important doctor. I study he I study here rare Pokemon fossils. You have a fossil for me? Helix fossil. Oh, that's a Helix fossil. It's the fossil of Armanite, a Pokemon that was already extinct. My research machine will make this Pokemon live again. You have to... You hurry and give that to me. I'll take a little time. Go and take a walk for a while. Basically, that means just, like, step outside. So, I'll go and do that. Come back in. And he should be done with it. Where were you? Your fossil came back to life. It's an ammonite. I like to think... No, you don't get a nickname. There's no more room for Pokemon, so it's sent to my PC. Yay! Okay, cool. Now all I need to do is win the trade. Because I got all my Pokemon for this route. And I'll start sorting out Cinnabar Mansion in the next episode. Ready to get ready for that... To get ready for Blaine's Gym. So we'll start sorting out Cinnabar Mansion in the next episode... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to heal up and we're going to start Wonder Trading. Because we have four Wonder Trades to make today. So let's go and get them all out of the box. First off, I need to deposit my team. So Pants. Seeds, Pants. Miss B. And Charlie. You can all go in the box for a bit. Armonite. Star you. Oh, I have actually have got a quite a few Pokemon here. Articuno. And Psyduck. Because got Psyduck for uh, the cave itself. And I got a uh, Krabby as well for Route 20. So let me deposit another Pokemon and get that out too. We got five Pokemon we want to trade actually. So you can go in the box too, Double Cross, for the moment in time. And let's bring the Krabby out. Now, I am poisoned with a few of these Pokemon. They're not going to die. I will heal them before they uh, die. 
So let's heal all these new Pokemon that we have here. And let's do some Wither Trading. Let's do the Wonder Trade. So, we got this Krabby first. It's level 25. It's at the bottom of the pile. So, you go first, Krabby. What are we going to get for you? If we get a Krabby back, I'm naming it Nimblaze. Because Nimblaze's mascot is now Kingler. So, I would definitely not mind naming it after my friend Nimblaze if we got a Krabby back. But we got to get a Krabby back for that to happen first. For Joanne's Krabby, we get a Butterfree. Okay, this gets named Hardy. Or a Butter Butterball. No, this gets named Butterball. That's what he calls them. So this is Butterball. Okay, cool. That's a Butterball. That's a heart. That's a canopy. Well, it's a Butterfree. And I don't think that's dupes, so that'll be fine. If I if I do get dupes at this stage in the game. I'm probably going to re-wonder trade off screen because basically it's just so much easier for me to do it outside of recordings, but just in case we run into multiple amounts of dupes. But I will tell you when the new episode comes back in what we did actually get. So when you see that next episode, you'll know what we actually got. But at this late stage in the game, I can't have an episode that's like 40 minutes because we got a load of dupes. <gasps> Sylvie on? We got a Sylveon by the Wonder Trade system. Oh my god. Shulk has joined us. Because that's what I call Sylveon. I call him Shulk after Xenoblade Chronicles character. I call him Shulk. He's really feeling it. And I'm really feeling the fact that we just got a Sylveon. That's awesome. Articuno, what are you going to bring us? Error? That Pokemon is not allowed? Oh! I can't trade for Legendaries? Oh, okay. I can't trade the Legendaries. I guess this will go in box... I guess Articuno is going to go into box 7 like uh, that's, uh, that Chinchou I got a few episodes back. That'll go into box 7 with it. I guess it won't catch the other legendaries because the fact is I don't I can't use them. Wait, I have a Hound Doom. I have a Hound Doom. That's dupes. I know that's dupes. Actually, no, wait, Hound Doom is not dupes. Hound Door is dupes, because I have Extinguish. Which is my Hound Door. So this is, this is species. That's what this is. This is species. So get, get back out there into the world of the wonder trades. I will give you one opportunity to give me something new. If you don't give me something new, then I'll do the rest off screen. Damn you police car going past. Okay, what are we going to get this time? Come on, there's still plenty of new Pokemon we could get. For Joanne's Houndoom, Cubone. Okay, off screen you go. Off screen you go. That's one trade I have to do off screen because I already have a Cubone. It's my headbutt slave. It's named Oliver. I know it's really wrong of me to have a headbutt slave, but I do. Because headbutt is an annoying thing to carry around with me and I must always keep it on the team in order for me to use it, so... I will keep... I will trade off screen to get another Pokemon out of this. Because I will find another Pokemon to, uh, for... Uh, I will find another Pokemon for Cubone. I will retrade Cubone off screen because I don't need to deal with this. And you don't need to you don't need to see how many times I have to constantly continue to wonder trade just to get a new Pokemon at this stage in the game. Because it's getting late into the game. See, there's a pincer. That's That's new. I do not mind taking. I do not mind having a pincer in my team. That is new. That is new. I will definitely take a pincer. I will definitely take dead metal. 
That's what I'm going to call my pincers. I used to call them Dick Pinch after Hayden, but now I don't call them Dick Pinch anymore because apparently I've been told, but wait. I've been told by my family not to uh, call them that because it's kind of rude and they once or twice have watched my LPs in the past and they don't like the fact that I was using the name Dick Pinch. So I'm now going to be calling them Dead Metal because Dead Metal is a robot from Robot Wars, a show that I used to watch back when I was a kid. And basically Dead Metal had pincers just like those in his uh, as one of its weapons. So I will be calling him Dead Metal. Uh, I guess we have like time, so you know what? I'm gonna try this one more time. Cubone, go. I know that I'm not allowed to get the Pokemon back. That's totally fine. Cubone, go. You, we might just be able to get this in before the end of the episode. If this doesn't work, then I will continue to Wonder Trade off screen. If we get dupes again, I will Wonder Trade off screen. Okay, but at least I tried three times. Okay, we're doing off. We're doing this off screen. Because again, that species clause. We already have a gloom. We've already had a gloom. Gloom was my starter. So either I'm running out. Uh, I'm running out of Pokemon, or they've ran out. They're starting to run out of slots, or it's completely random. Either way, I will continue to wonder trade off screen and see if I can get something new. But until next time, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Answer today's question, though, which of course is, who won E3 in your opinion? Let me know in the comment section down below what video games from E3, if you did watch E3, or if you plan to watch E3, what games you're excited for, and if you did watch E3, what games are you truly excited for to come out? And until next time, I'm JSPH Games, and I'm out. See you again!